Hi everyone. So today's video is going to be a little bit brutal, um, but I thought it would be a great experience and a great learning opportunity for um, everyone who has chickens and something that I encountered. And I've never encountered something quite like this, but kind of similar. So here we go. Um, it's cannibalism actually in chickens. So yesterday I came home and collected eggs and went into the chicken coop and I noticed there was some blood. So I walked in and noticed just some blood speckles. And then I was like, oh no, who's bleeding? Thought maybe it was like a foot that was bleeding or something. And then I saw, oh my gosh, what's going on? And there were a bunch of chickens hanging out down there. Don't know why they like it down there. Um, but I found one of my older hens, her name is Brownie Scout. And she had a very bloody comb. And I noticed some of the other chickens were kind of still pecking at her a bit. It was obviously pretty fresh that this had started. But um, from my research and past experiences, I knew that needs to be dealt with. So I'll kind of explain why. Um, cannibalism in chickens is a real thing. And um, I was doing some research before I did this video. And basically, it's like once they start, they don't stop. And the problem is the combs um, are super vascular. They just take a little scratch and they will start bleeding because there's so many capillaries right at the surface level. And then um, once you get deeper into that comb, you have um, actual veins and arteries. So it just doesn't take much for it to start bleeding and to make a big mess, um, which is why there was so much blood. And granted, a little blood can go a long ways and make it look like a whole lot more blood. I've learned that just from being a nurse. Um, but it was obviously bleeding enough that it left multiple messes. So I went and grabbed her and put her in the trailer right there. So she is now living with my uh, goat, foster goat that has a broken leg. And we will go say hi. Um, like I said, it might be a little bit brutal, but all right. So here's Miss Darlin. Okay. So you can see she kind of tucked herself in there for the night and obviously shook her head a couple times. And she is just looking a little bit more rough than I would like. I'm going to pause here. All right, so that comb is just super vascular. And um, like I said, a little blood goes a long ways, but she's obviously doing really well. She maybe looks a bit rough, but she is still eating. She's drinking, she's moving around. I had to get her away from the other chickens though, because as I mentioned, cannibalism is really a true, real thing. Um, Basically, once chickens start pecking at each other, um, if they start drawing blood, it's like this learned, natural, instinctive behavior. I guess it's, it's nature, and it's instinctive that they peck at each other. That's where the pecking order comes in. But once there starts to become blood, you know, they're uh, carnivores or um, omnivores. Um... And once there starts to become blood, they just keep going. And they keep putting their dominance onto the weak uh, chicken. And then next thing you know, there's a bunch of chickens going after the one chicken. And then there's blood everywhere, which attracts more chickens. And then it can become a bloody mess. Um, luckily, what you saw with Brownie Scout, Brownie Scout, you know, some blood on her comb... It's the most I've ever experienced with this, but from my research and stories, I know that it can become a, an ugly mess. And uh, what's kind of crazy is that they will kill a chicken and then they'll eat it. And if it's not stopped, it becomes a learned behavior, kind of like with chickens eating their eggs. Um, once they start, it's really hard to stop it. So if chickens learn that they can kill each other and eat each other, as brutal as it sounds, they will continue to do that to each other until there's nobody left to kill. 
And then you have a whole dead flock of chickens that legitimately killed themselves. Um, that would be a very severe case, but it happens. That's why I knew as soon as I saw Brownie's goat had some blood on her and I saw that some of the other chickens were pecking her, she had to get out because otherwise I would have come back out there in the morning and very possibly had a dead chicken. Now, chickens will peck at each other out of curiosity or as a pecking order. So it's kind of aggressive, but not super aggressive to cause um, actual harm or not deathly harm anyway. Or they will do it as like a nurturing thing. Um, like if you have a sick chicken, some of the more motherly hens will kind of peck at them, clean them up. Uh, kind of like when you see the gorillas kind of picking off all the crap on the other gorillas' hairs or backs. Kind of how chickens do it. They peck at each other and clean them up. Um, so they can peck at each other and be nice about it. Um, that was just not a gamble I was willing to take, especially with the amount of blood that Brownie Scout had, um, had put out. I just wasn't willing to deal with it. And it was late at night when I found her. Um, but yeah, it's just something that you have to be aware of if you are raising chickens and, um, just kind of how nature works and where we're at. I want to go ahead and get Brownie Scout cleaned up. I'm sure she'd appreciate that. I brought some nice warm water out with me and we'll go from there. So I'm getting Brownie Scout cleaned up here. I just have a washcloth and some nice warm water. Um, but I just want to reiterate, you know, maybe she, um, accidentally cut her comb on something and therefore it was bleeding because as I said they're very vascular and maybe the other chickens were pecking at her to be nice and to clean her up because you know she's been part of the flock for a long time so maybe they were just trying to get her cleaned up and be those motherly hens I cannot rule out that possibility um, but because she's been a member of the flock and she's kind of old, you know, she's not young. It is actually very possible that they were just being bullies. Um, so just, you know, you gotta know which, how you're willing to gamble and whatnot. Um, she's looking a little better. I just don't want to bother her too much. But, um, you know, I actually had to try a little bit to catch her, which to me is a good thing because that means that she's still moving around and... Um, has some sass to her because she's not one of my super friendly hens. So the fact that she didn't let me just catch her is a great thing. Um, yeah, that's what I have to say. Uh, cannibalism in chickens is really a real thing. If it's not stopped, it can cause major damage to your flock. Um, do your research on it if you have uh, a flock of any sort because it's not just chickens. It's birds in general kind of do this kind of stuff. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but I think she's going to be just fine. We'll keep her away from the rest of the flock for another day or two, just to make sure that she doesn't have any open wounds and heals up nicely. She can stay nice and warm with my goat. Um, but yeah, I really don't have any concerns about her and I hope and think she'll do okay. But until next time, have a great day.